Today we're gonna to take a vocal and see if we can turn that vocal into a giant vocoder stack without using an actual vocoder and without using a vocoder plugin. Running out of time Don't leave my heart blind to harmony So how do we do it? Let's find out. You are watching Sound Learn. AI, it's moving fast. It's controversial. It can be useful. It can also be just garbage, let's be honest. But I do genuinely believe that when it comes to music production, there are a lot of great tools and we're just learning how to use them. So this company called Automy reached out and they wanted me to try out one of their new features, which is, for lack of a better term, a harmony generator. So what it is is you feed it a vocal that you already have, just the lead vocal, and then it kind of does its AI magic and basically creates a harmony for you, which is cool. I could see the usefulness of that. But from my perspective, I always like to see how I can use tools outside of their intended purpose and see what can come out of it. So that's what we're gonna do today by trying to take these AI generated harmonies and trying to recreate somewhat of a vocoder effect made popularized by artists like Daft Punk or Imogen Heap. And yeah, there's a ton of vocoder plugins that I could use, but I wanted to see if this sort of AI approach could give me something a little bit more unique. So let's try it. For starters, I've put together some quick chords and a vocal melody that sound like this. Running out of time Don't leave my heart blind To harmony Of you and I uh. Pretty straightforward, but that is just me. There's no AI generation going on there. And so I'm just gonna quickly export a wave file of just this vocal. And we're gonna head over to Automy and they have a tab here that says make harmonies. It's currently in beta, but this is extremely straightforward. You just go ahead and drop in your lead vocal and you'll see it here if I play that back. There it is, right? Now here it predicted the key to be F major. This is kind of a weird melody, so it got it wrong. It's actually in C major. So anytime I add a track, it will just simply add a random vocalist and copy the melody. So if I play this, out of time. this is cool if you wanted to do a big uh, vocal stack with different voices to make it sound a little bit more authentic. But in this case, I am more interested in trying to get it to sound as close to me as possible. And I'll explain why in a second. Before we do that, let's go ahead and just scroll through this so you can see. Um, there are a ton of voices here that you can pick from and you can just click on any of these to preview what they sound like. And the cool thing about Automy is that they are trained on voices and artists that have consented to be a part of this library. So there is something to be said about a company that's trying to do it right that aren't just taking from other already existing music without anyone's consent. So because of that, these are royalty free voices, meaning you can release a song with these voices without having any issues. So that's definitely a plus. In this case, I'm gonna go for male indie. I'm gonna go with Dustin over here because when I hit play, out of time. sounds pretty similar in terms of vocal quality and timbre and tone to me. So here's where we would start playing around with the idea of maybe adding a third. Running out of time. Don't leave my heart so let's keep going and let's put a fifth, major fifth here. Let's see what that sounds like. Running out of time. Don't leave my heart blind to harmony. So already because we're using the same voice and the voice has a similar vocal timbre to mine, we're already starting to get that sort of like vocodery effect. And that's essentially what I'm looking for because nothing is stopping me from just using a plugin. But I wanted to see if there was a middle ground that we could reach between completely synthetic vocoder sound or a completely real harmony stack can we find a middle ground that sounds unique and interesting? And that's what we're trying to do. Let's go again here, put my boy Dustin. This one I wanna put an octave down actually, see what that sounds like. Running out of time Don't leave my heart to harmony So I like the fifth drone more a little bit. Let's add one more here. 
Bring back Dustin. Running out of time. Don't leave my heart behind to harmony. So for this last one, we're gonna put it onto Root Drone and we're gonna change the voice. And for this one, I'm gonna go pretty low. I like this one. And if I play this, I wanna put this two octaves down, see what that sounds like. Running out of time. Don't leave my this is already sounding really cool in terms of like the effect that I'm going for, but you'll notice here if you have a key nine that there is a button that says editor and this is gonna bring up kind of like all the notes in a manual pitch editor format similar to like Melodyne or Auto-Tune uh, manual pitch editing, um, stuff like that. So all this is is that if you select the section, you can literally manually modify everything. So. I'm gonna actually do that. Let's make this a little bigger so I can have more control here. Let's select all of this. And I wanna put this in F and see what this sounds like. Running out of time. Don't leave my heart And so this is, I wanna change this note. We're gonna change the notes here. I think this is kind of what I wanted to do. Let's see. Running out of time. Don't leave my heart alive to harmony. A few and die. Another thing you'll see here is that you have this vibrato and pitch function. And so I actually want to kind of like get rid of all that vibrato and flatten it out because I want to have that sort of like vocoder effect. And so for example, to understand why I would want to do this, you would need to understand how a vocoder works, which is not too dissimilar to what we're doing now, which is you feed it an input vocal. And when you play any specific note on a keyboard, you get those notes recreated with the consonants and vowels and formants of your voice, but you're not actually getting a new voice. So what you end up getting is obviously a very flat sort of straight pitch. You don't get a lot of, or any vibrato really, unless you're kind of messing with the pitch wheel. So in this case, we're gonna go through and actually get rid of all the pitch and vibrato, just flatten all of these guys out as much as we can. That sounds pretty good. I think I can work with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit this convert button. And so when you actually open up that zip file, you'll see that you have two files, the unprocessed and then the ones that are time shifted with any sort of like panning or effects that you did. In this case, I did flatten out the notes. So I'm gonna use this one. See how this sounds. Running out of time. Don't leave my heart behind to harmony. A few and I, I. This already works as is, in my opinion. It's kind of accomplishing what I want. But again, it still sounds like a little bit less like a vocoder and more just like a vocal stack. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mess with this a little bit more to try to make it sound a little bit more like a vocal. First thing you wanna do is level these out. Running out of time. Don't leave my heart behind to harmony. Get the lead vocal back in there. Running out of time. Put the compressor and reverb back on the lead so that it stands out. Running out of time. Don't leave my heart behind to harmony. A few and die. So that's sounding better. What I'm gonna do also is I've made a little vocoder harmony submix here that I'm gonna send everything to. I'm gonna get rid of some of the low end here. Running out of time. Don't leave my heart behind. Let's go ahead and compress them. A little bit more 
glued together. Running out of time Don't leave my heart blind to harmony And so another thing I'll go ahead and add here is a little bit of modulation. Maybe we can put in a bit of a chorus effect, maybe. Not too much. Running out of time don't leave my heart blind to harmony A few and die mm, Let's see what else we can add. Maybe a little bit of a slap back. Running out of time Don't leave my heart blind to harmony A few and die uh, Let's hear it with everything with the synth. Running out of time. Don't leave my heart blind to harmony. A few and die. Uh. And then you know what? Actually, if we're gonna go the full kind of synthetic route, let's throw in some auto tune on each of these individual ones. We are in C major. To be pretty aggressive with the retune speed, no natural vibrato, no humanize. I'll just copy this across the board. We're definitely going to get a very aggressive effect, so let's see what it sounds like. Running out of time, don't leave my heart blind to harmony. A few and die. Okay, we are definitely getting there. There's one last thing to do is I'm gonna copy over the main lead vocal and I have this Vox Formant track and you're probably like, okay, well, what is that? And that goes back a little bit to trying to recreate that more authentic kind of vocoder thing. It's not like a Melodyne or an Autotune where it's actually taking the full vocal and like pitch manipulating it. It's just taking like the formants and the vowels that you're the shapes that you're kind of creating with your mouth and then putting that through a note. In this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this into robot mode. We're just gonna take the format all the way down to negative 12. You're gonna get this almost like very creepy sort of. And by itself, it sounds wacky and ridiculous, but in the context of everything, it should give you a little bit of that texture that you get from a vocoder. Running out of time. Don't leave my heart blind to harmony A few and die So all in all, I would call that a success. And like I mentioned, I really do think that AI is a thing that can be used lazily to create lazy ideas, but it can also be used creatively. Traditionally, you would just kind of throw in your input vocal, your lead vocal, and you have a bunch of great options for creating harmonies. You even have all these presets that you can explore yourself and they will give you what you're looking for in terms of a harmony. But you can also play around and do some really crazy sort of stuff. Aside from actually using something like this in your productions, I think this is an amazing tool to save time in terms of finding melodies. Maybe you don't have a super great ear for finding melodies. This is something that you can easily just throw a lead vocal into, find a bunch of really cool harmonies, tweak them until you like them, export them out, and now you have a great reference track that you can then record your own vocal to now having the notes be very clear and, and, and you know exactly what you're gonna sing. And so if you wanna try this for yourself, there is a free tier that you can just play around with. It gives you 15 minutes of conversion, which is honestly more than enough for a song, realistically. So if you do like that and wanna try that out, there is a link in my description. It helps the channel out at no additional cost to you. So if you subscribe through my link, it helps me out. So I would really appreciate that if you are remotely interested in checking it out. Outside of that, I wanna thank you for watching and I wanna thank Automy for sponsoring this video. And uh, that's it. If you like content like this, don't forget to comment and subscribe. That also helps out the channel. So that's it, thanks for watching.